Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. First episode, you know, um, successful line, you know, book club. I just felt I needed to do something positive, you know. I don't know if it's going to be called book club in the bends or just successful line book club. But, um, yeah, we in that big thing. Nothing major, nothing to brag about. It just is what it is. Um, but this first episode, man. This first episode, man, I just felt during this time we're living in, I just want to do something positive. You know? Um... You know, we're going through crazy times. You know, I, I just want to put things out there that, you know, something positive, man. Let these kids pick up on something positive. If I help one person, one person help two people. Two people help four. Four help eight. Eight help 16. And it becomes a domino effect, man. You know, it could be one line one sentence in a book that could just spark something to help somebody else change. You know, and I, I've witnessed it. I've bear witnessed myself. You know what I mean? Um, not just in scriptures, but um, just from different authors, man, of uh, monetary, just getting knowledge, um, getting up, getting out, and go get it. You know, um, you know, like motivation, man. You know, um, not just spiritual. You know, financially. You know, righteously. Um, physically, mentally. You know, just pushing yourself, man, to be the best you that you can offer, you know, because if you're, if you can only offer 90% of yourself, you're not giving your all, man, you know, um, and, um, this is the first episode, you know, Happy. I'm happy to uh, be able to do that. Um, hopefully, I help some people. Um, and most importantly, the young people, man. You know, they're, they're the future. Um, with all the craziness going on and, and, and protests and. Um, Police brutality, which has been going on forever, how long, man. But at the end of the day, it's all prophecy. Um, that's why it's important to read scriptures, man. You know, I don't care if you, you know, me personally, I believe in the Bible. Um, but, you know, whether you Muslim... Catholic, um, Jehovah's Witness, Buddhist, whatever it is, and it brings you closer to the God that you believe in, then hey, I, I can't knock you. If it makes you a better you, I can't knock it. I, I can't knock it. But after reading pretty much every quote-unquote religious book, me, I believe the Bible more than anything. Me, personally, I think it's um, black people's history um, hidden in plain sight, but 
that's a whole nother story that I'm not gonna get into, man. I just wanted to share a little, a little light of what my beliefs are and um, why I'm doing this, you know, series or channel. Um, you know, um, and personally, I've been. I can you say famous or popular my whole life and me I gave up a lot of popularity because the Lord told me to um, because it wasn't the right popularity it was you know fame and entertainment and you know the Lord saved my life. The Lord saved my life. You know, um, about seven, eight, nine years ago, you know, and I gave that lifestyle up. Um, And if you look back, or even if you realize right now, all these entertainers, what is it gaining them right now? With this coronavirus or whatever that's going on, what they ain't making no money. Um, life as we know it has been changed forever. You know, life as we know it has been changed forever, man. People are not going to want to go to these functions and have to wear masks to sit through a concert, man. For five hours, bro. You know, life as we know it has, has forever been changed. You know, whatever viruses are down the pipeline, that's a whole other story as well. But... God changed me at the, the right time, you know, um, I was headed down a path of destruction and I wouldn't be who I am today. Do I regret anything? Nah. I'm a warrior, man. And the Lord only want warriors, you know. Always been humble, always been given. Um, never been a receiver, man, or, you know, man of my word. So I stand on what I stand on. Um, am I one of the chosen? I don't know. But. He picked me up out the, the ashes, man, out the gravel to, to dust me off and um, be a better man. You know what I mean? And I give all praises to the Most High. All praises, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's, you know, some of the main reasons why I'm starting this channel. Um, I think it's something positive. People need to read more. Um, yeah, you might read magazines or, or newspapers or articles online or whatever, but you need to delve into books, man. Books that can help you, like I said, righteously, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Things that can help you become better, man. You know, put down a remote, um, what they call it, DVR. You, you can DVR whatever you need to DVR. Um, that, that Grand Theft Auto, that 2K, that Madden, it's going to be there, man. You know, have a, a, a schedule for your life. 
Don't just be spending five hours smoking weed um, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, and, and playing 2K, man. You know? You know? You know? Where's time for the Lord, man? You, you know, it's 24 hours in a day. You tell me you ain't got an hour for the Lord? To read some scriptures, you ain't got a half an hour to, to crack open a book that can help your life. Then the rest of the day is yours. The rest of the day is yours. You know? I'm just speaking my testimony, man. I ain't here to judge nobody. That's not me. I mean, that's 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 for the Lord. That's for people who know you personally to judge you. I don't know you, but if I can help you get on the right track, and and you've been thinking about in the back of your head, damn, how can I help myself um, become better? So I'm here to point these things out to you, which which help me. And yeah, everybody's different. Some things might not help you, but I'm telling you, consistency is key. Being motivated is key. And being sober is key, man. Being sober is so key. You know, I used to look, you know, you watch, you see, as a young man, the only superheroes they give us is, is is entertainers, man. So you look at their lifestyle, like everything is, is party and bullshit, like Biggie said. You know, um, it's the champagne, it's the drinking, it's the smoking, it's the fornication, you know, you know, women every night. And you think that's the way that's that's all that life has to offer, man. You know, but it's not. Just getting up at five and and taking a walk, taking a jog, man, seeing the sunrise, man. That's life. You know, eating to live, that's life. Not living to eat. Now, I used to be a big boy, man, you know, caught up in that lifestyle, man. I thought that was the, the, the way, you know, go, you know, eating two lobsters, eating a, a pound of shrimp, you know, going to the finest restaurants, getting the biggest steak, getting the, you know what I mean? They'll kill you, man. It'll kill you. You know? Liquor and smoking. You know, it's killing you. You think that's life, but it's killing you slowly. You know what I mean? Killing you slowly. You know? And I had to look myself in the mirror one day. And I said, is my life that bad that I have to be high and drunk to go through every day? Is it really that bad? And I looked around my life. Yeah, I had trials and tribulations. Yeah, I lost people to the streets. Yeah, I lost few friends doing real, real bids, you know, yeah, I had to, you know, do what I had to do to survive, um, but you look around, man, and you start to appreciate the little things, you know what I mean? 
not the material. Yeah, we have so-called farms, spaceships, whatever lingo you want to call it, and, 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 and you know, nice clothes, you know, whatever, whatever. That's just material, man. You know, and once the Lord know where your heart is and you're not living for those things, bless you in abundance. Like, in abundance. Like, like you know what I mean? Once you stop defiling your temple, that's why I really, once, like, I always used to pray, you know, even when I was sinning, you know, um, I used to pray, um, I used to pray a lot, that's why I believe, you know, he got me out of the fire, you know, um, Prayer is real, man. Can't tell me God ain't real, man. Like, everybody that say, yeah, you, like, man. You gotta look, start looking through lenses with spiritual lenses, man. Look at this world through spiritual lenses, bro. You know? That's what it's about, bro. Spiritual lenses, man. If you can't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You know, but like I said about the following your temple, the Lord can't operate inside of you if your if if your temple is ruined, man. The Lord is clean. So how can he, you know, use you to your full extension? Yeah, the Lord controls everything. He's the biggest puppet master. But if he's going to use you for righteousness, he, he can't, can't fully operate in you, man. You know? So, I say that to say this, um, you know, yeah, you, you know, some people are going to be afraid to lose friends lose family, man, when you, when you, but you got to choose, you got to choose, you know, I'd rather choose the Lord, you know, and you're going to lose people, that's just a part of it, man, and I think some people know that. So they continue doing what others are doing to, to keep their friendship, but or keep their family ties. But if you know you're gonna lose people, then I mean those people really ain't rock with you like that anyway, man. They really ain't rock with you like that anyway. And that's cool. You have your memories of what things used to be like. You know, if your relationship was going to the club and you're not in that life no more, then you appreciate the memories you had 
with the, that person or those people going to the club. She was doing entertainment, music, movies, acting, or whatever the case may be, and you realize that lifestyle is, is, is wicked and not right for your spirit, then you appreciate those people. You have memories of the times you shared with those people. And that's just what it is. It don't make them, like I said, I can't judge nobody. It don't make them horrible people. But being around your spirit and they still doing that, it's going to make them uncomfortable. Because they're just not there where you are. And me, I'm trying to lift people up. So being around me, it's going to be like hellfire if you ain't, you know, doing the things that, that the, the Lord requires, you know? So people rather cut you short, you know what I mean, than to deal with you you being around them, you know? Because what it is is, is while you were smoking, drinking, clubbing, entertaining, messing with this woman, that woman, It was the nod of okay. This is okay to do. But once you become a part of the Lord, it's not okay. So it's not justified anymore. You feel me? So that's why this first episode. The first book I'm choosing is the Bible. And yeah, you know, every every episode I'm going to read some scriptures. Um, but it's not going to be the main focal point. You know, I really want to um, pass on some great books that I've read over the years. Um, typically, I try to read a book a month, maybe two depending on how many pages each book. But on an average, one. You got at least one. Um, but lately, uh, two. You know, uh, I can say this this year so far, yeah, two, two a month, you know. Um, Yeah, two a month. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's it's an investment, bro. It's an investment in yourself. It's an investment in your future. It's an investment in your well-being. You are your worst enemy. You are worth investing in, man. No matter, you're, you're worth more than any stock on the market. You. You are worth any amount of money that you can invest in the stock market. You. So, if a book costs you $10, $20, get it. You know, I know libraries are starting to reopen right now again. Do that. Buy it used. Um, you find a friend, bro, yo, read together. Go half on a book. You know, you, you married, you know, if I reach a married couple or a couple that's dating, hey, go half, read together. You become closer in this time, man. You know? Um, you got kids, read, read books to your kids every day. 
It do gotta be a children's book, man. Kids are growing up so fast, man. Kids are very mentally um, sharp, man. So these these books ain't uh, sex books that you know you gotta hide from them, man. This is this is books about growth, man, development, financial stability, you know, um, motivation, you know, knowledge. You know, so this, this, you can start as early as you need to, you know. Um, and you kind of kill two birds with one stone type of thing, you know. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into the Bible. Uh, this episode, next episodes will be different books. Um, and I'm open to... You know, if you're an author, you want me to read your book um, online. Um, you, you you like the sound of my voice? I can do you know an audio of your book if it's sending the right message. You know, it ain't about no money with me, man. You know, um, but I will be taking donations if you want me to read. A particular book um, and I'm not reading the whole book I'm just reading certain stuff in the book um, and I'm just giving praise to that author and I hope you go out and check it out um, but like I said if you're an author and you want me to do either a read your book you know, just promote it on my platform. If it's sending the right message, you know, I'll take a donation for that. And if you want me to do an audio book, because you like my voice, um, we'll do set up donation for that, you know. Um, I'm not going to try to, you know, hurt your pockets, but my time, time is money. Um... And, uh, yeah, let's get into it, you know. I'll read the Bible. And the first, you know, like I said, every episode we're going to read a few scriptures. Um, today I thought it was uh, good to start with Job. Um <laughs> Because a lot of people that get saved or in this truth or become spiritual or um, especially men, um, you kind of feel like Job, man. You know, I'll, I'll give a just a little breakdown of Job because I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's just, you know, a man, he had, you know, wife, kids pretty blessed with um, I say f financial stability or whatever you want to call it and uh, through all his uh, ups and downs um, trials and tribulations he never cursed never cursed the Lord man you know Satan tried to ruin him you know through God's blessing um, Satan tried to ruin him and through it all he never cursed God he, he, he lost everything and you know being tested by God he got everything back ten times over ten times fold you know and, and once you come in you know and I feel the same way you know I lost things lost people lost people that I love man Lost material possessions, but, well, I got everything back ten times for old man. You know what I mean? Loving heaven, the Lord's love is like, 
the best love you can possibly have. So whatever people you lose while loving the Lord, oh, so be it. So be it. Ain't nothing like the Lord's love, man. You know, and loving yourself is key as well. You know. But let's get into it. All right. Let's get into it, man. Well, I'm looking for this here. You could expect an episode every week. Um, looking to do, you know, four, four a month or whatever. Um, like I said, I just want to do something positive, man. While we're going through this. pandemic and uh, all the crazy stuff for the world right now, man, because it's, it's all prophecy, man. It's all prophecy. That's why you gotta sit back and just let the Lord do do the work, man. You, uh, even though there's a lot of pain going on in the world, but you just smirk because you you know it's all prophecy, bro. You know? Um, so let's get it. I'm going to point the camera at the Bible um, while I read. All right. I'll be back. chapter 1 alright well, my bad alright there was a man in the land of us whose name was Job and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil and there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters his substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so when the days of their feasting were going about that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings. According, according to the number of them, all for Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God, my bad, the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Where's, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the, in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, 
a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and eschewth evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for not? Hast not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth, put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power, only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job, and said, The oxen were plowing, and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabaeans fell upon them, and took them away. Yeah, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, The fire of God is falling from heaven and has burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, Bad, yo. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Shaladins made out the out three bands and fell upon the camels, and have carried them away yet, yeah, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there also there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating, drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I am only escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. You see, and, man, that is so powerful, man. Mm -mm -mm. That is so powerful, man. See, man, if you don't understand that, then we just ain't on the same page right now. But I hope my channel influences someone to be to be great. Um, we're not going to be here forever. You can tell the times are changing. Um, the world is changing. Um... And if you read these scriptures, you understand everything is prophecy. Um, so I'm just here to, to spread some positive. Um, I'm not going to go into politics and 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 um, all the other stuff. I, I can't go into. I'm not going to do all that. You know, there's plenty of channels out there that that's for that. You know. Um, me, I just want to come um, do a book club, um, you know, and uh, say something that really helped me, you know, because all, all I'm here to do is, is, is save the elect, you know, everybody that's not going to get it is just not going to get it. Um, but 
while God's grace is still, you know, all this is happening, so the elect can come back into the Lord, you know. Um, so, the Lord's put me out there to say what I gotta say, so hopefully the elect come back, you know. We need y'all for the kingdom, you know. Um, it's a spiritual battle out here. And if you don't have your spiritual lenses, you're not going to see it. So I'm not talking to you, you know. But those I could motivate and inspire, that's who I'm here for. And uh, I'll check y'all next week. We're going to have a good book. I'm not going to tell y'all right now. And every week I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to give you a different book. Um, read a page or two. And, and give you a synopsis or, you know, of, of what the book is like. And hope you, hopefully you check it out. And check out the author's background and everything like that. And uh, we'll move forward with that. And every week I'm going to read some scriptures. Because scriptures are important to me. Um... And it's important to a lot of other people who might be watching this channel. Who might just come to this channel just for that. Um, but I appreciate everybody. This is the first episode. Hope you dig what I'm doing. Um, I feel that in my heart this is what I should be doing. Um, been having dreams about it that I, I just can't... Um, Stay quiet. I'm not here for fame. I'm not here for fortune. I'm just here to 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 help people get better uh, through something that made me better. Um, it's not just a black man, but um, a man, um, a person, a human, um, and it's worked. So. I'll see y'all in the next go around. Um, until then, stay up, stay shining, stay smiling. Um, eat right. Uh, get as much sleep as you possibly can. You know, treat people right. You know. And shine on them, man. Shine on them. <laughs> Peace. Be blessed.